Hey guys, what's up? It's your main man, Blueball993 here. We're coming at you with some more console corner news. Uh, we're going to talk about power rankings across NA and EU. Uh, the finals just happened this past weekend. There were some great matches. There were some upsets as well. Uh, Xbox NA and PS4 NA, both great matches. All eight teams showed up for the brackets in the finals week. Um, unfortunately for PS4 EU, only seven of the eight showed. And for Xbox NA, EU only six of the eight showed uh, so let's get right into it let's start uh, with PS4 uh, number one this week uh, this is phase six end so phase seven will begin once the spring LAN is over that's this weekend I'll talk a little bit about that here in a second uh, number one this week for NA on PS4 is going to have to be Misfortune. Uh, it's a newer team, newer lineup. Uh, you might know them as EMF's Free LAN is the name they played under in uh, week one for qualifiers. Um, you know, they were a very, very good team. Very, very tough. Let's look here. You know, they were the three seed going in. They faced Leroy Jenkins in the first round. Uh, they 2 0 them. That's a very, very tough team in Leroy Jenkins. They faced Game of Throws in the semis. Uh, that's not so much of a, a heavy hitter right there, but Game of Thrones has. Game of Throws, sorry, Game of Thrones. Game of Throws is moving up in the uh, power rankings themselves. So they're getting a little tougher, uh, but I still think they're weak in a lot of areas that they could improve on. Uh, then they. Misfortune 3 0 Onslaught. Onslaught is your land qualifier and the land representative at Spring, land, Spring Masters for PS4 NA. So, for them to do that is a big deal. Uh, number two, of course, is Onslaught. They still made it to the finals. They still took, you know, maps off of everyone without giving up any maps um, until they made it to the finals where they lost 3 0 to Misfortune. Uh, Misfortune is a newer squad. Again, they've got Shu, Tommy Jet, Sorrow, Neil Bongstrong, and uh, just right there in itself. That's a core, core lineup right there. Um, number three is going to be Barrick One Tricks. Barrick One Tricks was the uh, eighth seed. Um, and, you know, I know Business is on that team, uh, Vicious KDR, and some other. Uh, th they're not newer players, but they're not veterans as well. You know, they've been around for a couple months. Some of them have been in the playing the game for a while, uh, but not competing at this level for a while. Um, the, um, they went up against the number one seed, Deserve Gaming, which uh, used to be, which is, you know, most of the players from the Ember Nation crew, uh, if you remember them. Uh, they're signed to Deserve Gaming now. You know, they're a strong lineup. They got the number one seed. Granted, only three teams showed up that week. Um, but, you know, Barrick One Tricks were not supposed to win this match. I didn't have them winning this match. And for them to come out victorious, it was, it was really, really dope. Uh, they then got 3 0 by Onslaught, but they uh, picked it back up and they 2 0 Game of Throws in the bronze match, giving them the third place in the power rankings. Fourth place is going to have to go to Game of Throws. Uh, you know, they made it to the semis. They also got 3 0 in the semis, but then they got 2 0 by Barrick One Tricks in the bronze match. So that drops them down to number four. Number five is Leroy Jenkins. Um, so everyone in the first round that was left after this, Leroy Jenkins, Deserve Gaming, Nightmare, and MKS, um, besides Deserve Gaming, everyone got 2 owed. So Leroy Jenkins, I think, is the stronger team between them and Deserve Gaming, and they're also stronger than Nightmares Empire and MKS Gaming, who also got 2 owed. Uh, Deserve Gaming at number six, they didn't get 2 owed. They were number one, um, and the only reason why I don't have them farther down in the power rankings uh losing to the eighth seed as a number one is because there was only three teams in the bracket when they qualified as the number one team so i wouldn't really you know judge them as a number one seed just yet or a strong one at that uh number seven nightmare empire the reason why they are so low is because they went against Onslaught in the open bracket qualifiers uh, for week three in the finals. They lost 3-0. And within one week, they have enough time to prepare themselves again because they face Onslaught as the 4-5 seed matchup. And they get 2-0'd again. So obviously they couldn't find 
uh, any way to improve against the same lineup. So they're at number seven. Number eight is MKS Gaming. Um, MKS Gaming, they have, you know, strong showings in open bracket all the time. But whenever the finals week comes, they get 2 out. I am yet to see them take a map off of anyone in uh, in the finals week. Moving on to PS4 EU, we have Flashpoint, the number one team. They're your Lang. They're the EU PS4 representative going to Spring Masters this weekend. Uh, they're the strongest team. They didn't drop a single map uh, throughout the entire bracket. So there's no question there. Number two, iTech, uh, one of my personal favorite EU teams on PS4. You know, they were the number two team a couple months ago. They were neck and neck there with Flashpoint at one point at one at a certain time and then they kind of fell off and they dipped down in the power rankings they dipped down in the brackets and then they were gone for a week or two and now they're back and you know a little rocky start when they came back but they've climbed back up they're the number two again they made it all the way to the finals uh they 3 0 aftershock uh number three is gonna have to be the fy fy midnight oligarchs the oligarchs are just they're moving up um I, they were the number two in power rankings last time. Um, only reason why they didn't make it to the finals this week, I think, is because they had to face Flashpoint in the semis. I think if Midnight Oligarchs had to play iTech in the semis, it would have been a, a five a five game set, three two, could have gone either way. Uh, they're the number three in my power rankings number four of course is aftershock um they took a map off of oligarchs in the bronze match but they still fell two to one aftershark uh, aftershock uh good team they've been around for a while so i, I believe they can improve uh next up is team 110 percent it's actually the five six seven seed here all three of them got two o'd so it was kind of difficult to pick uh, amongst them so i had to go back a couple weeks and see if they played each other um team 110 percent has taken uh, Mar Maricone Pazza D4 uh, plenty of time so team 110% takes that and then Maricone Pazza goes at number 6 because of that reason and number 7 Heroic Challengers is number 7 because uh, they're a newer roster put together newer team haven't really uh, showed me anything in the past before uh, because they haven't been there before so that's the only reason why they're at number 7 and then going into Xbox, uh, let's start with NA. Uh, God's Plan, which is Styles, Sir James Parker, a couple other guys that are veterans. Um, and, uh, you know, they're putting up maps against Heating Up. They actually beat Heating Up in the finals. Um, now, Heating Up did play with their sub, Destronite, um, which could have been a problem uh, in their game plan or with communication, anything like that. Um, sources have told me that Wonderful kind of had a bad day. Uh, you know, that happens. And it's better that it happens in a tournament like this, in a finals week, which doesn't qualify you for a land. Um, and also, Skeppy, you know, he's injured. He's got 11 stitches on his hand. So that could be a factor as well. Or maybe they just had a bad day. Uh, anything could have happened. God's Plan is the number one team this week after that finals week. Uh, number two, of course, is Heating Up. They made it to the finals. It was a 3-2, so they went five games. Heating Up um, is your Xbox NA representative for Spring Masters land this weekend. So I hope they can get it together before they show up. They are the clear favorite to win. So there you go. There are no fear at number three. They've been moving up very, very well. Uh, you know, they were at the bottom at one point, and now they're moving up. Uh, they were the number two seed in this bracket, uh, but God's plan was able to, you know, go and be victorious over them. It was 3-1 there. Uh, heating up only had one match prior to the finals as well, if that would be any consolation of why they dropped to God's plan. Uh, at number four is Bushwalk in eSports. Uh, they... Got 3 0 by heating up and then got 2 0 by no fear in the bronze match. You know, they showed some promise in the first week. Um, but unfortunately, they lost. Uh, at number five is UND Gaming. You know, they've been around for a while and so has number six, Sync. Uh, UND just edges out 
sink in my opinion right now is because they had the harder matchup in the first round. You know, UND had to go against God's plan in the first round. Sink had to go against No Fear. Obviously, God's plan is a tougher team than No Fear at this moment in that finals bracket. Uh, and at number seven is House of Gods, newer team, newer roster. Uh, got 2 0 by Bushwakan Esports. So, you know, they're, they're at number seven right now. Uh, Xbox EU only had six teams show up. Of course, Vex Gaming, your land qualifier representing the EU Xbox region at uh, Spring Masters this week. You know, they had a tremendous bracket again. Uh, they actually. Uh, had a bye in week one and then their first set was against eights plan in the semifinal and This is why eights plan is my number two in the power rankings right now Vex gaming faced fable in the finals fable is at number three because they made it to the finals But they got 3 0 by Vex gaming as to where eights plan took Vex gaming to a five game set uh, now we have learned and been shown in the past that Vex gaming is not Immortal. They have been beaten in the finals uh, before by Revolt, and you know anyone can beat them again. Uh, this week it's Eight's Plan almost beating them, taking them to a five-game set. So I'm giving it to Eight's Plan for the number two in the power rankings because of this. Fable at number three, they made it to the finals, but they lost 3-0. Number four is Last Minute Scrubs. Uh, they lost at Eight's Plan 2-0 in the bronze match. But they are clearly better than uh, any of the other two teams at this point in time. Uh, number five is God Slayers, who at one point was the number two. Uh, but they've dropped down significantly. Significantly, I think they've lost uh, some key players in their roster as well over the past couple months. Uh, and at number six is that name that I am not going to try and say because I do not want to butcher that. Uh, I think it's French. Or I guess. There's some accent marks that go on some of those letters. I couldn't find them uh, on my keyboard. So, oh, well. Uh, don't forget, Spring Masters LAN is this weekend, May 12th and May 13th. Um, let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win, who you're cheering for. And uh, if you guys want me to make any videos about any you know, particular champs, let me know. I'll try to put those up. More console news action coming at you for Paladins. Uh, and this week we're going to do a special console corner show uh, because we didn't get to do it Sunday because the Vegas PC land went super late. Uh, congratulations to Team Envy on winning that $100,000 pool. Um, and we're also going to give predictions on who we think is going to win the LAN. Uh, if you don't know who's going to the LAN, I will tell you Xbox NA, which is North America, is represented by Fable. Uh, which was the heating up roster. They signed the Fable. Uh, in PS4 EU, you have Flashpoint. Um, PS4 NA, you have Onslaught. And Xbox EU, you have Vexed Gaming. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for the Power Rankings video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? And if so, why? Keep gaming.